I was really excited to be able to come and talk to the apprentice teachers about balanced literacy and a more strategic approach to teaching reading and writing. Um, my background is as a literacy coach, so I've been sort of providing professional development to teachers in the area of reading and writing for years, and I really wanted to talk to them about specifically the approach that teachers are using here at Marlboro this year, which is um, having students make choices for um, doing independent work during their reading time and doing authentic reading and writing activities during that time. I think with the Daily Five, it was it's really awesome that we're here watching it because watching a school in transition is something really special, I think, and having Maureen Watson come in and working with the students and us directly watching her teach the students as well as watching Ms. Demonchelli, like take in everything that Maureen's saying is really cool. I think it's wonderful that they can see the books, the Daily Five and Cafe books, for example, and then actually see it in action and see that, yeah, you know, there's challenges and there, there's there's strides that we make, and but in the end, to actually see it carried out, I think that there's no substitute for that. Through the curriculum in kindergarten, I've noticed how important it is to really teach the emergent readers, and the lessons have to be kind of compact because their attention spans aren't quite as long as some of the older kids. Um, they use the Wilson Reading Program, and it's been really interesting for me to see the progression of learning each letter using the um, keyword and the sound to learn each um, specific letter, and then learning through using their handwriting to learn how to write the letter using a chalkboard. Hi, Dad. You can hear my voice back twice. Hands on your head if you think you're showing me. In control. Good Duke listener. Great. K, kite, k. K, kite, k. Nice job. K, kite. Well, they're very, very adamant about building stamina for them, and the children are like really excited about that too. Because we get to go over like read to self and read to someone, and we say like, oh, what else, what do we need to be doing? What do you need to be doing? And they're always like, build stamina, build stamina, because I think they get excited when they've achieved like not 25 minutes of reading by themselves, but like a half hour of reading by themselves. So the Good Fit book uses the process of the students finding books that they like and that are perfect for them to read. And it's really about the students reading books that work to their level. So it's not about the whole class reading a single template. So just quickly have them read to you and, and talk about it and then um, just say, okay, I think your goal now will be interesting words. And we'll mark it in their book. From here, skip the word and come back, he's using that really well to either ask questions throughout the process or tune into it. So the cafe is comprehension, accuracy, fluency, and extended vocabulary. So right now we're just creating goals for the students. So we see all the goals written like as a whole, but it's interesting to see what goals match up with the first graders and then doing reading conferences with them and then matching those goals. So reading about the goals and then giving them a goal. And then you can see how the cafe has helped the kids because you give them one goal and a couple weeks later you meet with them again and they've mastered that goal. And then 